Well, Stephen, just first off, emotions after obviously an emotional game last week, a couple of emotional wins to start off the season, and then to have this letdown this week. Do you feel, first off, that that impacted you at all? And secondly, just how you know Mel walked out of here and said, boy, what a difference a week makes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just feel like we didn't execute today, especially on offense. And I mean, a lot of that, just plain and simple, it's on me. I just got to do a better job. Can't come out there lethargic like that. And uh, and uh, we just got to come out faster and just better, just better execution. But all the, I mean, all the credit in the world, the Air Force, they played a hell of a game. They uh, they played lights out. They're a very disciplined football team. They're a very good football team. So all the credit to them. Steven, do you feel an emotional letdown from last week? Because that was a pretty, you know, one of the biggest games in Colorado Buffs history to come back this weekend and, you know, take on the Air Force, who have been preparing for you guys for a couple of weeks. Mm. Um, do you guys think you were up for it today, or do you think that uh, you just kind of, I don't, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. Yeah, I think, I think that, I think that we were definitely up for it. I mean, it's not like all of us didn't want to play, you know. We're definitely up for it. We just didn't execute. We didn't do a very good job executing the plays that were called and the assignments that we had. And, um, and then it just it didn't it didn't bode well for us. We put ourselves behind the sticks a lot, and that that got us into trouble. Um, so we just got to do do a better job of cleaning that stuff up. And I think we'll be in a lot better shape. I think if we clean up some of those some of those penalties, some of those missed throws, some of those missed assignments, I think that we'll be in a lot better shape. Uh, what do you think will uh, help your offense consistently execute? I mean, to be honest, I don't know that question. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I have an answer for that as of right now. I mean, I think we have to figure it out. I think we have to keep practicing hard. Um, and I think that'll help us be more consistent. But as of just kind of just like a magic switch, kind of flip and everything changes and all of a sudden we're consistent now, I don't think we have that. So I think we just got to keep con just continuing to practice and just work at our fundamentals and, and work it in the mental game. And I think, uh, I think that'll make us more consistent if we keep doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, when when Eric Maddox gets hurt, that kind of an injury. What what was just sort of the you know the team feeling there, and what was yeah? Just there? prayers to him first of all. Prayers to him. I I don't I don't know exactly what his injury is, but I, I heard it didn't look too good. So prayers to Aaron Maddox for that. Um, but he's a he's a he's a key part on our defense. He likes he's he's a, he's a hitter. He'll come down and he'll hit you. And uh, I mean, Coach Tuck likes that on the defense. So he's a he's a he's a big piece. Hopefully uh, hopefully his injury's not too bad, and he'll be back soon. You mentioned that uh, when the offense wasn't moving in the first half, you kind of put that on yourself for not running the offense game down the field. But late in the game, you're able to give your chance or your team a chance to come back and win it. Did it feel like you were doing something differently out there? To be honest, no, didn't. Kind of just felt the same. Felt like same sense of urgency. Just kind of just felt the same. It just felt, kind of felt like things started to click for us a little bit, but. Um, I mean, we got to figure out a way to get them clicking earlier, you know. Can't just can't just go out there and and not produce for a whole half of football. Stephen, how important is it now to come out with a, a really strong Monday practice? Oh, it's very important. It's very very important for us to come out here and and correct all these mistakes that we made and just start getting prepared for uh, for ASU because they have a very good football team up there in Tempe. So um, we're excited about it. We're excited for the opportunity to play football again. I mean. This is obviously a tough loss, but 24-hour rule after 24 hours, I mean, hey, it's out of our mind, out of our heads. We're on to ASU, so, so we're excited. We're excited to, to get an opportunity to play football next week. Steven, to varying degrees in all three games you guys have played this year, there's been moments where the offense was lethargic, as you put it. Mm -hmm. Now in, in game three, when you were able to kind of get the win in, in games one and two, this time around it didn't work out, and maybe you can kind of look to some mistakes of execution on offense leading to a loss. Is it kind of good just to, to get a look in the mirror, to have that forced upon yourselves early in the season before a conference play starts? Um, to be honest, I'm not sure yet. I'm not really sure how we're going to respond to it. I mean, that'll be, that'll be obviously a big test for us on Monday, how we're going to respond to this loss and how our guys come back. Um, I mean, I think it could. It could kind of be like a little gut check, a little, a little punch in the gut, see, see what we're working with. But I mean, I think the guys are going to come out strong. Tough. I mean, we got some tough guys in that locker room. so. I think they'll they'll come back on Monday and be ready to work. And I mean, really, we'll come back tomorrow and get our rehab in. And people will probably watch film tomorrow. So, really, starts tomorrow. Just getting getting all those mistakes on paper, understanding what we did wrong, and just fixing fixing the uh, the, the small details of the play that we need to get corrected to uh, to have success. Anything else, first? We talked about the defense a little bit this week. There's so much focus on Air Force's offense and how unique it was, but uh, you guys came out and had 10 points right away. Was there something that they did defensively that, that changed things? Because you guys just kind of went, got shut down from that point on. Um, 
No, nah, I think I, I mean they they were they were good on defense. Don't get me wrong, they were a very good defensive team. Um, I think we just we just had a hard time executing. I think I think a lot of it was putting ourselves behind the sticks. Didn't put us in a good position to uh, to be successful on second and third down. Um, and then I think just not executing in the plays, just missing throws, missing assignments, uh, just missing blocks. Just it was just a bunch of different stuff. Just a bunch of different stuff that that kind of put us put us in a bad situation. And we I mean we were able to uh, to give ourselves a chance at the end, but I mean. The way we the way we want to run this offense, we don't want just a chance at the end. We want to be up top at the end. So we got to come back and and work at it and and hopefully get better over this next week and and come into ASU more prepared. All right. Thanks, Stephen. Thank you, guys. <coughs>